another My Two Good Hands video. We're in the basement again, working on our project. Remember, we're making those corbels. Well, hey, but drum sanders are like 250 bucks, 200 bucks. So we bought this. Check this out. This is a kit that we got. Amazon thing. Uh, we were able to uh, put together a drum for a sander that you can run in your drill press. The project unit, you got all kinds of stuff. Hey, stay tuned. We're going to build an adapter for our drill press. We have vacuum suction and let me show you what we're going to do. And this hole saw is going to allow us to take our pieces of wood, these old scraps we've got from another product, so lay out and drill a slot like this. So we can go in our drill press like this. We're going to drill this out. Pieces, we're going to put a vacuum hook up on it. So uh, I'm going to show you how we do it all. So let's, uh, let's stay tuned. We'll get on it. Things we got to do, we got to find the center. Just take a straight edge and go corner to corner. Put a line through the middle. Corner to corner. A line through the middle. So we know where to put our hole for our uh, hole saw to let the drill go in. And we got and make it at nine inches. We got 18 by 18 squares. So we're gonna mark up our two pieces of wood like this, then we're gonna start. This is a slow process. We'll play it at high speed for you. Next thing you need to do is we gotta cut this out. So a couple lines. that look like this. One, you don't want the hole in, that's the bottom one. So stay tuned, we're gonna get them drilled. You've got uh, actually three of these, you don't want four. The one only has this notch, that's the bottom. You want our trail for our shop vac. You know the thing spins clockwise, so you wanna have an arc on it, we're gonna draw that in. What you wanna do is have an arc on here. So we're just gonna kinda say, all right, we want it to be over here. So we just kinda wanna come out here. On Okay, shop back and we're gonna cut these out. So you need to make sure you stack these upright. So we've got our two pieces here. We can line those up and that cut out just like that. Come in here and line this one up the same way. And then we're going to come bring this one and line this one up just the same way on top. A couple clamps on here. So we're going to go get some screws to put in here. And we are going to put a bolt. The bolt is to the table. We'll show you how we'll do that. We don't quite have screws that are long enough. You can see how that isn't going to make it all the way through. But we'll be able to put them from both sides. So we're just going to come in here a ways away from our center line here and put our screws. Remember, you've got this cut out here. Here. Come out almost to the edge. Edge. It's there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Here. Take our marker and uh, start making. Go, we got our, you can see we got a circle drawn on there. All right, let's go set the bandsaw to cut that circle out. So we moved our bandsaw guide up so we got a little more than three inch thickness.
Okay, so we're good to go again. Turn this on, shop back on. Look close, you can see all the cut lines. Now we should be able to come on here. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, that comes out really nice when we do it that way. Look at that. That's what we're gonna do for corbels. Let's turn this up. There you go from my two good hands. 25, 30 bucks for the sanding kit off of Amazon. I made this out of some scrap wood. You can see barely any dust on top. Shop vac's hooked in the back. Works like a champ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next videos.